Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a locking fuel cap on your car or truck. Now, for this video, I'll be doing it on a Grand Marquis, a 2004 Grand Marquis. So, this video will be specific for this car, but it's pretty much the exact same process no matter what car or truck you drive. And it's actually such a simple and such a quick mod that I'm going to do this all in one part and not edit anything, just completely uncut raw how it is. If there's wind noise, just ignore it. Now, the reason you may want to do this is I've seen a lot of people in the Crown Vic Panther groups get either sugar in the tank or people having their gas stolen because of the price of gas right now. So, also, the car has some mods done to it that you didn't see yet because this is actually filmed after everything's done. I'm filming this today, which is, I think, the 27th or 28th of March, 28th maybe. Um... It's uh, Tuesday, the 27th or 28th, whatever day it is. Not that, that really matters, but anyways. Uh, what we're going to be doing is installing a fuel cap. And like I said, it's all going to be one part. It's very simple. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. And I'll show you the product number if you have a Grand Marquis. If you have a Crown Victoria that is, I believe, 2006 or newer, this is not the right part number. Um, but this is the one for Panther cars. 2005 and older. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the 98204 one, but I'm not 100% sure. So you can pause it. It's FC960 XU5Z 9030HA fuel cap, and it's a OEM Motocraft part. I got this new old stock off of someone, so more than likely if you're looking for this exact one, you're going to have to go on eBay. Anyways guys, let's get right into this video. So, very first step, and also another reason, because after O2 they switched to just a regular door that anyone could just walk up and pull open and twist off your cap. I'm going to be doing it on this car just for that reason. So, hopefully the wind doesn't kill it too much. It's kind of windy today. I can do a better video another time, but let's get right into the video. So, first thing that you're going to want to do, open it, remove fuel cap. Very simple. Now you'll notice that there's the little, like, holder on it. So, what you're going to want to do, grab a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet, and then go ahead, loosen it off. Okay, slide it off of the screw. Set it aside, grab the new fuel cap. Put the screw through it. And then tighten it down all the way. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to break anything. Now, to install it, turn it until it clicks. You can see now when you try to tighten it, when you try to loosen it, nothing happens. So, what you need is your key. Comes with the key. Make sure not to install this if you don't have the key. This is it here. So you can see it even says fuel on it. And how you're going to take it off, there's a forward emblem. Slide up the emblem, just like that. Turn the key in. Turn the key, and then... Like that, you have to turn the key, 
and then turn the thing at the same time. It's kind of hard to do it with the key on hand. There you go. And then it's off. So let me get that again. You also need it in the lock position to tighten it back down. So lock, grab it, and you can close it and open it up when you need to get in. Such a small key. It's the only complaint I have. Turn it, and then oops. try to make sure that when you turn it, that it kind of stays upright at the same time. You know what I mean? And then there you go. And then turn it back to the lock and lock it back. And as you can see, nothing happens. And it's all locked. Just like that, we're done. So what was that? Six, four minutes, five minutes from the time it started? If it wasn't struggling so much with the key. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to continue seeing updates and the build on this car, which I highly recommend, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. That's weird. Yeah, make sure you don't miss out on any future uploads. Hit the notification bell. If you have any mod ideas or anything you want to try or you think will look good on the car, just drop it down in the comments. If you got any questions about the fuel cap, I'll try to put everything you need to know about it in the uh, description down below. But... Catch you guys in the next video.